Two-year-old Colt Trotters behind the gate. Matron final purse, 184,126. There are, from between horses, Knight's Tail decides to leave. Farther out, self-obsessed with American Mike up the inside. Then it's Great Challenger in fourth with the Rail Fifth Classic Hogan as they battle into that first turn. That's American Mike who wants the lead now, forced back into second Knight's Tail, left outside, self-obsessed. Two lengths to Great Challenger. The early trailer is Classic Hogan, the opening quarter, 27. And four fifths, and it's American Mike who comes out with that lead, self obsessed, gets in there second in front of Knight's Tail, who's back to third. Great Challenger is there in fourth, followed by Classic Hogan as they trot over toward the clubhouse turn. It's American Mike, a length and a half. Self obsessed in second, Knight's Tail there, third. Coming out now is Great Challenger, trailing is Classic Hogan as they trot to the half. American Mike leads by two, two and a half lanes. Self-Obsessed is there. On the outside, Great Challenger up into third. Knight's Tail back to fourth. Coming out from last is Classic Hogan, 57 and two-fifths. They make their way up the back stretch. And it's American Mike leading by two lanes. Self-Obsessed with Great Challenger gaining on the outside. Classic Hogan follows the outside move. And the trailer now, after trying to leave Knight's Tail, they go into the final turn. Great challenger now, right up alongside of American Mike, and those two try as a team past three quarters. In 126 and four fifths, great challenger on the outside. American Mike has the rail. Then comes Self Obsessed. Not going on with it was Classic Hogan with the rail. Knight's Tail now has nowhere to go as they come to the top of the stretch. And it's Great Challenger on the outside, almost a length coming off the turn. Great Challenger and Dave Miller. They've got the lead. They begin to move away coming through the stretch. It's Great Challenger in hand now coming to the wire. Down the inside, Knight's Tail is going to get second. Great Challenger, Knight's Tail, and American Mike in 157. By Jim Campbell, driven to victory by Dave Miller, 157 flat. In the winner's circle, once again, making that blanket presentation, publicity director Mark Bachrod, along with manager of harness racing John Hensley, and winning driver Dave Miller. Order of finish one, Classic Hogan fifth, two American Mike third, three Knight's Tail was second, four Great Challenger the winner, five Self Obsessed was fourth, top down five, three, two, one, four. Upcoming 15th and final race, scratch the three Oreo blue chip. Trifecta exact to superfecta. Post time 17 minutes away at 10:13. Uh, you know, we've we got to stop meeting like this. We've been in the winner's circle so often so far. Another big win, another matron championship for you. Tell us a little bit about this trotter that the Seagulls from New Hope, Pennsylvania own. Well, uh, he's, he's come along uh, this later part of the year just fine. I mean, uh, Starting out at Lexington and uh, ending up here at the Matron. I mean, he's been just been real sharp. What about this race? Uh, you were content to wait. Is he's the kind of a horse that uh, seems to like to get in it late and then go at full speed? No, no, he he can race any way you want him to. He he's very versatile. Uh, I I didn't have him right up on the gate. Uh, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen with the horse on the outside of me. So uh, I, I was able to drop in and then moving back. I could have said a little longer, but. Uh, uh, he, he's very, very handy, very versatile. He can do whatever you need him to. For the longest time, everyone used to think that you were pretty much of a pacing man, but you've really uh, done so well with trotters as well. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of good ones to drive, and uh, yeah, that's a big help. Well, you had uh, Magician, you've uh, uh, Cadabra, you've uh, done so well with these young horses. What's the difference between the aged trotter, the one that's been around for a while, and uh, a young one like this? Well, experience is, uh, you know, is, is a big factor. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the younger ones, you know, they come into the, a, lot of, a lot more naturally bred, and uh, they just have to seem to have a gait, you know, a sure gait, which is a big help. Thank you very much, David Miller, who's having a sensational meet here at Dover Downs. Jim Campbell has had a, a bang-up season as well, and you train uh, most, almost all the horses for the Seagulls, and tell us a little about this trotter. What was his evolution? Well, uh, you know, after Broadway Hall last year, we went back to the sales uh, looking for the Conway Halls, and, uh, the, you know, this called he fit the profile for what we're looking for, 
And uh, he trained down a lot of the same way that uh, Broadway. He just, you know, he, he did everything he had to. And, uh, you know, he was kind of a laid back Colt. And uh, he just kind of came on. Well, we were pointing him for Lexington. And uh, he seemed to respond very well with that program. Of course, Broadway Hall at preseason looked like he was going to be the trotter to beat. He had such a great two-year-old season. I guess that was really a downer for you because uh, you had to look elsewhere. Well, obviously, when you lose a horse uh, that goes undefeated at two in all the major stake races, then you don't have him at three. It's uh, you know, it, it's it's one of the it is a major downfall. But then when you get a horse like Great Challenger come along, uh, that that picks up things. How about uh, training horses for a stable such as the Seagulls have? Uh, 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 is there more pressure on you, or uh, how do you react? Well, I don't, the pressure is when you're, when you're not standing here or not, not in the races. Uh, you know, the, <clears throat> I think any trainers who, you know, races Grand Circuit, you know, their goal is, to, is to, to have the pressure on them, because if you don't, uh, then, then you're not racing. Um, so it all depends how you view pressure. I view it, if I'm not racing in them, that's pressure. If I am racing in them, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. One last thought. You've done so well late in the season the last uh, few years. Is this by design or what? It's kind of worked out that way. Um, less and less we've been trying to get them ready for uh, the earlier races. And uh, I guess it just kind of fits with our training program uh, to bring, uh, you know, we point a lot for the fall meet in Lexington and then, uh, you know, some of them and then point for down here and, uh, and the fall races. And it's just kind of worked out well for us the last few years. Well, you're uh, off to a good start in the matrons right now. Jim Campbell, trainer of the winner of our $184,000 two-year-old Colt Trot. More Grand Circuit picks up on Tuesday. We have a terrific program tomorrow here at Dover Downs. Of course, weekday post time, 4.30. Weekends at 5.30.